Welcome inside the Dakota Dome in Vermilion, wrapping up the WNIT Sweet 16 matchup between the University of South Dakota and Northern Iowa, a 51-50 victory for the Coyotes. Brad Newitt, Alex Sander with you. And Brad, this was a game that coming in, two teams that very familiar with each other. They had met earlier this season in Cedar Falls, a 21-point win for UNI, a team that had won the regular season in the Missouri Valley, just yep. as USD had done in the Summit League. We expected this one <laughs> to be tight, and we got just that. Yeah, this was a, a game of really high-quality basketball teams that were playing at a high level, like you said, regular season champs. I didn't expect it to be this low scoring, to be honest with you. You and I, a great defensive team. South Dakota rose to that challenge as well and played some fabulous defense to win this one. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. And right off the bat, it, it was a little different game than we thought. High scoring, up tempo, 19-18, you and I after one. Jen Keitel, the senior post, really stepping up big for the Panthers all night. Well, both these teams came in really playing some fabulous offense, passing the ball well, getting the basketball to their star players and letting them do their thing. But after a while, Alex, the defense adjusted, especially at the start of the second quarter. Yeah, just eight points for UNI in that second frame. Only six for South Dakota, their lowest output in a quarter all season. The goal Seacamp with seven leading the way for the Oats at the break. Second half, more the same. Again, great defense from both clubs as these teams just fought back and forth. Tie, change, every time down the floor, Phil. Well, the largest lead for either team was six points, and so this was close all the way through. Keitel finished with 19 to lead UNI. Seacamp, though, so strong. A huge steal here. She would go for 16 points, six assists, four rebounds, as USD does just enough. Again, 51 points, roughly 50, exactly 50, less than they scored against Minnesota in the second round when they put up 101 against the Gophers. But they do enough to pull it out at the end, get the one-point victory over the Panthers. Well, the big key in this game was the rebounding. It was a close rebounding battle at the half. In the second half, USD dominated, out-rebounded UNI by 12. Got 12 offensive rebounds in the second half. They needed that because they weren't shooting the ball well, but it was enough to give them the one-point win. Yeah, South Dakota finishes just 33% from the field. UNI just under 40, but three-point shooting an issue. Again, both these teams, great three-point yeah. shooting teams. They combined for three triples in the entire game. USD, despite the cold shooting, especially from the outside, do enough to survive and advance. They will now host an Elite Eight game furthest they've ever made it in the D1 era in the W1IT. They're going to play the winner of Western Kentucky or St. Louis. No matter what happens there, though, what a run for Amy Williams in this team. Well, this senior class here at South Dakota, you can tell they don't want it to end. They're having a great time, and, and they have bounced back great from the, the disappointment in the Summit League tournament. Obviously, this team wanted to be in the NCAAs. They hit the reset button, and they're playing with a renewed passion. And, and they, they've got a really a focus here. They want to try to win this thing, yeah. and they look like a team that's capable of doing it. They'll have another shot coming up on Easter Sunday, 51-50, the final here. For Brad Newitt, I'm Alex Seinert. Thanks for watching.